So for most Shopify owners and other e-commerce store owners, the end of the year is the most lucrative and important time to scale to your next goals heading into the future year. Now, when I say scale, I mean, you know, if you're wanting to hit a 10K month mark, November and December is the perfect time to do so because of the holiday season. And I'm gonna talk about a secret where you can stand out from the crowd and not get mixed in with all the other stores that are trying to do the same thing as you. Also, before I continue, apologies for the voice. I've got a little bit of the flu this week. Uh, I woke up Sunday and it's been stuffy ever since, so I apologize. We've gotta keep these videos going. So I'm not going to waste any more of your time. The thing that I'm talking about is subscriptions. And the reason why subscriptions are the best thing to implement, especially now in 2022 going into 2023, is because it's on the rise and it's more popular than it's ever been. Not only with service-based businesses like Netflix, uh, Hulu, other entertainment businesses, but for other industries that are trying to implement the same deals as well. Like for instance, BMW is offering a subscription for the software inside of their vehicles, something along the lines of heated seats for their cars, which I think is a really cool idea. Porsche is doing a similar thing where you can rent out a car for I think two to three thousand dollars a month instead of buying a car and you can change it up every month. Point is subscriptions are growing in every other industry and it's the time now for e-commerce stores to take advantage. So you might be wondering how do you get started? Where do you even know if you're a good fit for subscriptions? Well the first thing is you have to make sure that you're not a one product store or that your product is, has multiple variations or can be customized in a way where customers want to see your product and maybe different variations month to month or quarter to quarter. For example, if you run a drop shipping store and you're just a one product store, this might not be the best fit for you. However, if you make bracelets and you make different forms of bracelets or necklaces or jewelry, whatever it may be, people may pay 50 to 100 bucks per month for you to send them a box of jewelry and actually, and they could choose what they want, maybe what they don't want and send it back. A really good company that implements this very well is Stitch Fix and they've been in the industry for a while and they've excelled because they've gotten ahead of the curve before it got really, really popular. Nowadays, it's super, super easy to take advantage of subscriptions because you have apps like like AppStool on Shopify that allow you to set your product up for subscriptions, memberships, bundles, things like that. Now I say AppStool because it's from my experience of owning a Shopify store, it's the best user interface, the best and the easiest way to implement subscriptions into your business, but there are multiple softwares out there, I just recommend AppStool. So what can you do to take advantage of the holiday season? Well, when you have a customer come to your store, they purchase something, um, you have to make sure that you have a good email marketing setup or you're never gonna see that customer again. For example, at the checkout line, you can have an option for them to put in their email and they'll get five to 10% off, but now you have their email to then tell them about future deals and things like that. It's something that I talk a lot about on my channel that I don't think is utilized that often. And if you're an SMA owner like me, you can implement this service for your e-commerce clients and it does wonders. So once you have their email, you can obviously let them know of good deals, but when subscriptions come around, they're not just going to be a customer that comes to your store, buys one thing and you never see them again. They're a customer that's paying you every single month and it also enables you as the business owner to expect what's a good revenue mark that you're hitting the next month. One product stores or one time purchase stores are, you know, they're kind of hard to, to predict the revenue because they don't have a subscription model. They're not on a month to month basis and subscription stores know that month to month revenue, for example, if 100 people buy a $50 a month subscription, they know that that $5,000 is going to be coming in the next month and likely for months to come. So it's more predictable and it's something that you can start offering today. And a good way to get people in is by offering them a deal on the first month or first six months or whatever it may be. For example, let's go back to that jewelry example where you're sending them bracelets, necklaces, whatever it may be. Maybe it's $50 a month and you can offer them for the first two months that they sign up, you, the first two months they get $30 just for the box. So like they can only pay $30, um, they save a total of $40 for the, that two months and that way you're getting a good introduction of your product and if they like it, they're likely to stay for the next coming months and years to come. Obviously subscriptions are a good way to keep customer retention, but as you introduce more products and more services into your businesses, you can start implementing that with your subscription model and people who are already maintaining your subscription service. So for the holiday season, offer a Black Friday deal or an early Black Friday deal, uh, maybe a late Black Friday deal, whatever it may be, but Black Friday is a really good way to get some good sales to your store. Offer a solid deal for November and December, and you can also offer it as a bundle or a gift box where if they sign up for the month of December, they get a gift box as their first purchase, you know, for Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever it may be, whatever you celebrate. And then as January, February, March roll in, they're still getting the boxes, but maybe it's not gifted as an actual like present. So it's just a really good way to get the customers, but also introduce them to the future things that you're gonna be doing post holiday season. You can also offer subscriptions as gifts. So for example, if I have a friend that really likes, you know, sportswear.com, 
I know that sportswear.com offers a deal where I could pay for, you know, three to four months of subscriptions and get it mailed to that friend where I'm paying like, you know, anywhere from 100 to 200, depending on what the monthly is. And it's incredibly lucrative and important that you understand how big of an impact this could have on your e-commerce store. The reason why I keep talking about AppSoul again is because you don't pay anything until you start making money. So like AppSoul's service really doesn't charge you for anything up until you get to, you know, X amount, whereas they're not charging you if you're not making money. But this is something that I'm doing for my store. This is something that you should be doing as well. And if you're interested in hearing about how I can implement this into your e-commerce store, click the link down below. I'd love to talk to you. But thanks so much for watching this video. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.